Welcome to Forever Finesse and TV. I just want to say thank you to all the people that's been subscribing to the channel. I finally achieved over 25 plus subscribers. I know that may not seem like a lot, but I appreciate it truly. And uh, on my last tutorial I released, I forgot to mention that was my 10th YouTube video upload, which is another pat on my back I got to give to myself. But uh, besides that, today's effect we're going to learn is a Photoshop trick that I know called the Decay Effect. And that's what I'll be sharing with you today. So hopefully you enjoy it. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it right after this intro. Okay, so I got my photo opened up in Photoshop. So, uh... First thing you want to do is uh, create a mask using the quick selection tool over here. So um, what I do is just try to zoom in just a bit because I want the details and everything to be perfect. And you just start making a mask around it, around yourself. So um, as you can see, we got areas that we don't want. You hold Alt on the Mac and just click and it just adjusts back around your body so take your time with this because you want your mask to look as best as possible for the effect to, to look real good and yeah so i'm gonna take my time with this but on your end i'm gonna fast forward it so don't worry about it i'll be right back just now okay so i think mine's looks pretty well so after you do that you, to the best that you can oh uh, wait one second i forgot to do this dumb part right here all right cool then you press this select and mask and then uh you're gonna scroll down here and if the if your output selection is not showing you just click this and it should just open up and then go to selection and click new layer and press ok and then there you go your mask you should have the next thing you want to do is go to create a new layer. Just drag that in between there. And we're going to rename that to background. So you just double click it. I put BG for background. And then we're going to uh, go to filter. Uh, no, not filter. We're going to go into edit and then go down to fill make the background white you know if the contents does just go to white whatever opacity 100 percent. press ok boom and this is what you have it's a pretty decent mask i did um next thing we're going to do after this now is select this and rename this to uh, we're going to rename this to liquify liquify I, I don't know if i spelt it quite right looks looks about right but whatever and then uh control click for the max and duplicate this layer and we're going to change the name to uh I, i'm just going to put rg for regular now the next thing we're going to do here is select the liquify and alt click for a new mask and then we're going to click the regular and just put mask then we're going to go here and go to filter and hit liquify make sure this top part right here is selected and from here we just like you're going to like expand yourself all around the corners so i'll show you like this uh just expand the hat a bit you know it's gonna take some time too so i'm most likely gonna fast forward this part too but you could kind of see what i'm doing right here i'm just gonna do this all around just do this to all parts of your, your the, the body of the person and what whatnot so i'll fast forward it for y'all
Okay, so after you're done, press OK. And we should have that. And when you turn this off, you good. Okay, cool. Next thing we're gonna do is go here, make sure this part's selected, switch the foreground to black, and press, we're gonna go here to the brush tool. Now, um, you're gonna need the glass break uh, brush thing, because you, as you can see, I have it right here. Expand it a bit. I'll put the link in the uh, bio for you to get it, but you usually go here at the install and it should be the 2500 uh, number mark. Now uh, we're going to press this to open up our brush section. And here is like something you're able to rotate, like your brush. So every time you change it, your brush should be rotating. Okay, cool. And you can change the size up here. So we're going to do about a thousand and I'm just going to do this. A little, 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 little stuff like this. Like I said, rotate it because you want the pattern to kind of be different all around, you know. You can also scroll down here to go to your other paint brushes and change it if you whatever you like. And and then uh we're gonna go here and then for this part like try to go to one where I got uh the brush got like kind of like larger scales in it. Let me see how this looks. Yeah. Let's bring that down a bit. Rotate. Yep. So you just keep doing that a bit, you know, just keep rotating it, uh, trying to make the effect look cooler. Rotation. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, cool. All right, that looks about nice. Now, um. What we're going to do is, if you don't see your layer side, just click layers right here, come back up, go to get liquify, and then we're going to go back to brushes and expand this just a bit. No, rotation. This is the expansion. Cool. Looks about right. So, uh, switch your foreground back to white, and then just right about right here. Boom. And you already got the shard thing going on, right? Next, uh, we're just gonna bring this down a bit some more over here. Over here. And then a little over there. So next let's go here. And you just kinda you just kinda repeat this wave until you're liking. You know, I try to just make it look as cool as possible. And if you ever want to like uh, adjust what you got going on, you can always just go back to your layer, go back here, switch the foreground back to black and, you know, adjust it how you like. I just wanted to decay it a little bit more, make it give give it a little bit better realistic feel to it. Back to brush, switch it up. Let's change that to a thousand. And then we're gonna change. I'm gonna go back to like the larger scale part. 
think that looks cool. Uh, cool. Next, we're going to do a cleanup, a little quick cleanup. Go back to layers. Click your regular. Make sure this is selected. Uh, go back to change your brush settings to about. Let's see. Let's click one of these. Just bring that down a bit and just clean it up a bit over here. Oh, nope, it's just the foreground white. Nope, I'm sorry, highlight this and then make sure it's white. And then, yeah, just clean it up. So, make sure your mask on the top layer is the, the white part is selected, and, and over here, the foreground is white. And then you just do a little quick little clean up to whatever you like. You know, I try to give it, give it a little. I don't try to make it look too straight, whatnot. I try to give it a different pattern. It's just. Clean up a bit. Okay, cool. That's looking better already. All right. I don't like that one, but all right, cool. That looks pretty good. Um, next thing we could go to is. Here and click alt click I mean control click and go to mixture brush copy my settings I have up here wet 25 low 42 100 100 for the mix and flow and we're just gonna just just do a little quick mix going up over here and over here just take your time doing it around we're just going to repeat the same method to the other side. Okay, cool. And that looks about right, like I said. And that's how you kind of do the decay effect, you know? Take your time and perfect it to the way that you, you prefer. Let me see. I probably want to uh, add another shard breaking glass thing over here but well, that's just my foreground sorry bam on the mixer brush tool I gotta go back to the brush tool go back here and then bam there you go I don't really like that position of it so right there it's cool and that's how you do it so if you like to see more tutorials on any other things like comment subscribe and I'll catch you next time